Hello and welcome. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today I'm taking part in Save the Crafty YouTuber video hop organized by the wonderful and generous Justine Hovey. All of the videos that are in the hop are created by people that have craft based YouTube channels when they're a little smaller on the subscriber scale. We're all usually less than 10,000 subscribers. There are going to be several different wonderful giveaways, so you must leave a comment on my video in order to qualify for the giveaways that are on my channel. As well as the wonderful giveaways from the sponsors, I'm giving away a Stampin' Up! gift certificate from me, Jenny Hall, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. So be sure to leave a comment by November 7th and then you'll be notified on November 10th over on Justine's blog. So let's get started with a great tutorial. And here is a look at all of our wonderful sponsors. They're very generous to, to help all of us with small channels. The technique I'm sharing today is messy stamped watercolor. And this is a really fun technique and you might have seen it before in a couple of different ways. But the way I'm using it today is very, very simple and basic. I'm going to be using Rooted in Nature Bundle from Stampin' Up! And I'll be using a stamp positioning tool for the technique. This tool is the Stamparatus from Stampin' Up! I'm going to first stamp the very large image, uh, it looks maybe like a tree section, on a piece of watercolor paper. Now I am taking an aqua painter filled with tap water and muddling up, messying up that stamped image. What this is going to do is break up those harsh stamped lines and give it a softer look. Now after cleaning the stamp, I'm able to go back over this with a gray ink. The first one was brown, this is gray. Metal it up on the stamp this time and it's going to add more like shadows and enhancements onto the stamped image. So I can still go with my aqua painter and mess this around a little bit too and pull the paint around to the different areas. I wanted this project to be really focusing on green colors and brown colors, all very neutral colors. So to give a look of maybe a little bit of mold or algae on the outside of the tree section, I've stamped with a light green just around the outside. And all that is done very easily by dabbing the stamp pad onto the edge of the stamp. Now let's add some more messy watercolored leaves to where they look like they're faded into the background and I'm going to do exactly the same thing and that is to stamp onto the watercolor paper and then muddle up the color. Now to give it a more enhanced and crisp look for some leaves that are appearing in the forefront. I'm using a sponge dauber and I'm adding the same colors. This is the light green and the medium green. I'm adding those directly onto the stamp with a sponge dauber. Now that's going to give me a natural way for the color to be gradient from dark green to light green. I'm going to take that same sponge dauber and what's left on the sponge is just going to enhance and maybe um, do a little bit of sponging on the outside of those leaves. Here is a basic black stamp and write marker and I'm flicking the long brush end on the inside of the cap to make some very simple paint splatters. This will also be echoed on those two nice, crisp leaves that are going to be in the forefront. This watercolor panel is then going to be adhered to a layer that's one eighth of an inch larger. This will help the watercolor paper to stay straight and not bend at all. And then I'll attach this panel to the card base. Now I'm going to add a sentiment and this is a very small, thin font, so I'm going to stamp it 
onto a piece of black cardstock. I'm using my stamp positioner to make sure that I get it nice and straight. After the paper is treated, then I have added the white embossing powder and now it will be heat set and trimmed down to fit over that area of the tree section. I'm going to add some more stamp and dimensionals on the back of this and that will raise my card to two layers which is my maximum. Any more than that and I feel like the post office is going to maybe squish it down just a little bit more than I like. These leaves are going to be adhered with stamp and dimensionals and they will appear more in the forefront. The inside of the card is very simple and echoes the colors that are on the front of the card. Thank you very much for joining me for this tutorial. I want to thank my sponsors again for their generous support. And here is a closer look at this project. If you have any questions, then please feel free to leave them as a comment in this video. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day!